Alright, so first thing we need to do is connect Figma with Shapes XR. So we are in Figma, we go to this little house here in our profile, settings, we scroll down and personal access tokens. So we create a token here, we name it Shapes XR because we are linking Shapes XR, intro and copy this token. This is one time action. Alright, so we are in Shapes, we go to import it and import from Figma. Now Shapes is asking us for the token, so we can paste it here or we can do it also with Profile, Integrations, Figma token. We can add the Figma token here, Sync. So the token has been added successfully and now it's asking us for importing a frame from Figma. So we go to Figma again. Once in Figma, we go to the group or frame we want to import to Shapes. We go there, this one for instance, we go right click and copy link. We go back to shapes and now in imported where we were, we just go control V. Adding a Figma file and here it is. So now we have the, the frame from Figma in shapes. As for the size of your UI, notice that this design is 840 pixels. That's the same as 840 millimeters at one meter. So we always design as if the UI was meant to, to be seen at one meter. All right, so we are in shapes now. We go to the menu, the settings, and we set the snapping step to 50 centimeters. Remember that we want, an, we want it, or UI, to be seen at one meter. So now we go to library in import, and here is our Figma import. So now we go to UI element, we mark it as a UI element and say one meter distance, this one, this option. As you can see here, this is 84 centimeters or 840 millimeters, the same as we had in Figma. So now we grab it, we have it in the scene, cut out. And now if we activate the snapping, we have the grid at 50 centimeters. So it's 50, 50, 50. So this would be 51 meter, right? So now from the our viewport, from our user, it's 50 and 50, so one meter. So now we can go to the report and this is our UI. Don't forget to go to the settings and check this increased quality. So your UI will look way better.